Okay, let's get started setting up our print server and creating a DHCP reservation for it on our wireless router. So we already know that the DHCP reservation setup is in LAN setup. And we'll be adding our DHCP reservation down here. Now I know I spend a lot of time harping on how useless setup wizards are. However, some setup wizards come with some rather useful utilities. Now what I did is I plugged this particular print server into the router with an Ethernet cable and rebooted it. Once you reboot it, by default this print server should be set to receive a DHCP address. But of course, we don't know what that DHCP address is. Well, it just so happens that this particular print server comes with a nice little utility to help us find that IP address. So we just go past all these little details here. And there it is. So we know that that is our IP address and that is our MAC address. So let's go ahead and try to log in to our print server. Now I've actually cheated and logged on to this thing just a few minutes ago so I have it in my browser and the credentials are probably saved so I probably won't even have to log in. And there we are. So what we want to do is we want to create a wireless connection between this print server and our router. So when the print server comes up it'll automatically receive the DHCP address that we specify on our router. Now this is not going to be done with cables, it's going to be done with wireless. So we need to set up our wireless connection to our router. And here we have right there our MAC address. Well, While we're looking at that, why don't we just go ahead and get our DHCP reservation created right now. So we simply click Add and we can paste our MAC address in here and we're going to call it and we're going to give it an IP address of 192.168.1 now our present DHCP scope is between 100 and 150 so we need to come up with a number between 1 and 150 down here I prefer to use the upper range of a DHCP scope so that it doesn't interfere with the IP addresses assigned to our workstations. So let's just call this 131. Click Add. And there we have a DHCP reservation for our print server. So let's go ahead and configure our wireless connection. So we got our settings from the wireless settings section on this router. Now remember, we're trying to keep all our day-to-day -day functions like surfing and printing and email away from the side of the router that we use for gaming and media streaming. So we're going to use this SSID up here. Auto is fine. Infrastructure is the mode that we're using. And it tells us we can continue. And it looks like those settings were saved successfully. And if I had to just run, run over here and clicked on security without hitting save, might not have kept my information. So I go to security and we want to say WPA2 personal and AES, which is the stronger form of encryption. Now all we have to do is type in our passphrase. Okay, well that's about it as far as setting up wireless security on this print server. I should now be able to A, remove the Ethernet cable from the print server, turn the print server off, and then turn it back on. When I turn it back on, I should see the little wireless light blinking as opposed to the Ethernet light blinking, telling me that it has formed an association with the router. Once it's formed an association with the router, the router should give it the DHCP address that we assign to it which is 192 168 
0.1.131. Now once that's done, I will no longer be able to connect to it from this IP address anymore. I should be able to wirelessly connect to it using that IP address. So let's go ahead and give that a shot. Disconnecting the Ethernet cable. Then I'm going to power cycle the print server by unplugging the power cable and then plugging it back in. And as I'm watching the lights, we no longer have an Ethernet connection light. We have a wireless light, which seems to be blinking in such a way that it makes me feel that we have a connection. So let's go ahead and try to log on to the print server with this new IP address. Well, it doesn't seem to be working. Yet it still has the same IP address that it did before. Well, what could be the problem? Let's go back down here to our DHCP reservation settings and look down here. Well, yeah, it looks like we did everything correctly, but look down here. There's a little button called Apply. If I don't hit that button, all these settings, any new settings that I create on this router do not take effect. So maybe that's the issue. I'm going to go ahead and hit Apply here. And now that that's done, I'm going to reboot the print server once again. So now what DHCP does is it goes around responding to requests for an IP address from DHCP clients. So once I plug the power back into this, it should come back onto the network. And once it has a wireless connection established, the DHCP reservation process should begin. And after about 30 seconds, I have a wireless connection. So let's go back up here and see if we can find that print server at the IP address that we specified. Ah, look at there. That's a good sign. Let's type in our password. And there's our print server. As of now, I should be able to plug the USB cable from this print server into our printer and print wirelessly.